Hey guys, Ryan here with Rock Speed Effects. Today we're going to be installing our Rocks Riser Combo Kit on the 2019 Yamaha Grizzly. Let's get started. All right, so here's the kit that we're going to be sending you when you order. You got the handlebars, the risers. This is going to relocate your speedo assembly, the headlight bezel bracket. These are the caps that are going to go on top of the riser, the bolts, and these are this is some of the hardware, and we'll go over that in uh, in the video here and 3 8 ratchet, some of the tools you'll need, 12 millimeter, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter sockets, and you guys can use it either on a quarter inch or 3 8 however you'd like. Phillips, straight blade screwdriver. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is pull out these plastic rivets right here. Get your straight blade screwdriver, take these out. There's one on the other side here. those out like that and then this headlight bezel bracket lifts up and off two more right back here take these ones out as you guys notice too we put uh, towels down to keep everything nicely protected all right and then that has got a little rubber cushion here that this little dart goes into so just pop this off so now we're gonna unplug the speedo assembly and you got to be very careful when you do this take this rubber boot away and then you'll see there's a clip right in here don't be tugging on the wires just be careful when you do this take your flat blade screwdriver all you gotta do just get up in here loosen that clip this there's a push clip right here push that down with the screwdriver and it comes right out just be very careful when you do that part. Now we're gonna set the speedo assembly aside right now, and we're gonna take the rest of this apart. So 10 millimeter socket, you're gonna take this screw out right here. This is a lot similar to the 2016 to 2018 Grizzlies. There's a couple of things that are different. So you can set this aside. And then this is a little tricky to get out of here. You gotta be careful when you take this out because there is, it, it is wrapped around the bars and some wires and so on so just be careful when you're taking this out just be mindful what you're doing and then that comes out so now we can get started on taking everything off the handlebars and we'll go from there all right so we're going to be taking the controls off the handlebars now off the oem handlebars so i'm just going to start with the throttle here a couple of phillips screws on the bottom side of that there's your cap your other screw set that aside and throttle assembly comes off set that off to the side here the next one is your brake lever eight millimeter bolts here all right and you'll see how that comes off set that off to the side and you can set that there let's go to the other side and we'll get this side apart you can take off the other brake lever here same thing eight millimeter all right, set that off to the side. And you'll see some of these uh, wire ties here. Just go ahead and remove these for now. And let's get the switches off of here. Phillips screws in this. Both the same. And that comes off of there like that. And loosen these up. And take your handlebars off. This here is going to remain here, but you've got to get these bars off first. 12 millimeter. Take and set this bracket and headlight aside. Take your caps off and your bars are free. This is we're going to uh, get our risers installed. The first thing we're gonna do is put our caps back on. Just get these couple turns in the bolts there. Make sure those are in. Okay, so now that we got those on, we're gonna take our risers and you're gonna take the caps that come with the risers off. You're not gonna use these or these reducers. So 
take those all off. And let's get the risers on here. And so all you gotta do is slide them into place here. Just gently snug these up. Now we're gonna put on our headlight bezel bracket. The bolt and uh, star washer that we provide in this kit here is what you'll use. Put that in there like that. Allen wrench, that's the way I like to do it. And then you'll get it started. And it's really important to make sure that this is straight this way and this way. And we'll get that here in just a minute. So just give that, just snug that down just slightly. And then you can feel underneath to get it straight. It's gonna line up with the headlight bracket here. And now we're gonna put the headlight bezel in place. And then we're gonna get the hole marked and drilled that goes up here. As you can see, we've already done that. We'll explain how that goes next. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our headlight bezel and we're gonna install it on the bracket underneath the headlight where it was originally. And we're gonna use the bolts, the washers and the nuts to fasten that on. So we'll get that fastened on and we'll get back here with you. All right, now that we got these two bolts in right here to hold this bezel, uh, the headlight bezel on, what you'll do next, we've already done as we drilled. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark this, you're gonna get it all lined up, come underneath it with a marker, and then you're gonna mark that, and then drill this with a quarter inch drill bit. So now that we've got ours drilled, take the plastic rivet that we've provided, insert that, and you're done there. So all you just take and tighten this bolt up, make sure everything stays lined up. As you can see, if you move it side to side, it really plays a, it really plays a role on where this ends up. So you're just gonna wanna make sure it's really straight so it looks good, and then give it a snug with your Allen wrench. And that part is done. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the Speedo assembly out of the plastic that it comes in, flip it over, three Phillips screws right there. All right, now you take your plastic off. Now you got your Speedo assembly. Now, time to put it on the Rocks dash panel. So what you're gonna do on the back side with these three aluminum spacers that we provided you, you're gonna set those onto the Speedo assembly. You're gonna set our dash panel on it. And then you're gonna take these washers that we provide. and you are going to put them on with the Phillips screws that were in it. So let's get these installed, tighten it all up, and we'll be ready to get this onto the risers. Don't over tighten these as they just go into plastic. Just snug them nicely. Now it's time to take your handlebars, put them in the risers, just get them up and up here. And then the bolts and washers we provided, and the caps, put those on. And then set everything up there. Just loosely let it sit there. Grab your other cap. Grab your bolts. Now it's time to get everything fit for you. So we're gonna get the risers or the handlebars up and we're gonna start fitting everything on them. All right guys, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna snug up these uh, front bolts right here that you can see first. After we have the risers on, we got our bars and dash assembly on here. So you'll snug this up just a little bit. Okay. And then what you'll do is you'll take and roll the risers up. And again, once you got everything on here, then you'll see where what's comfortable for you. You can come back with them. You know, you're a little bit limited on how far forward you can go, but it's gonna be farther than your OEM bars were. So, and we'll get the bars set in just a minute here. So now you'll take your 12 millimeter wrench and you can tighten these ones up. For now, we'll just get them snug. And these are the back bolts here. You can see that you got good access to those. We're on the other side here and we'll get that other one tightened up. And just snug for now because we got, uh, we still got to get everything set and we don't know where we're going to like it yet. All right, 
so those are snug. So let's get the handlebars in the right spot. I'm gonna have to line them side to side. Make sure you get the sweep correct on these. You can see, you wanna make sure these come back properly, you know, not too far forward, not too far back. And line them side to side. Looks good right there. Well, the bolts that we provide are a 13 millimeter. So once you have that, snug these up a little bit. Give those a little snug. Again, we'll get all the fitment right. Now, we're gonna take and plug in the speedometer. So get this run through back here. And you'll reach up in here and get that plugged in. All right, so we're gonna get our controls on the handlebars now that we got these just snugged up. Get the brake lever on, on the cap. It says up, put it up. There we go with that. Get the throttle on there. Notice how we have the uh, wires routed to the front of the handlebar here. So let's get this snugged up. And again, just snug everything until we have the bar set where we want them. Still moves. All right, I'll move on to the other side. So we're gonna get our controls on the left side here. Get your brake lever on. I just got my switch sitting here right now. So snug this up. Try to get it in as far as you can so you got enough on the grip. The switch will hit this eventually here, so let's get everything tightened up and snugged up and go from there. All right, fill up screws, go on your switch. Tighten that up gently. We got enough room on the grip end here. All right. Get the seat cleaned off here and uh, get this thing adjusted for us. We got the Grizzly kit on, the Rocks Grizzly kit on. Now what we're gonna do, now that we have everything on it, is get the bars and risers positioned to where it's comfortable for you. So once you find that, grab your wrenches, get everything tightened up. Make sure you take the loose wires that you have here, get them out of the way, zip tie them properly. Make sure you got enough room and everything to safely have them zip tied out of the way. Double check your throttle cable every time you do this. Make sure you don't get this too tight. Make sure there's enough room in the throttle cable so that doesn't uh, get bound up. The wires here as well. Take and get these and zip tie these out of the way. All right guys, hope you found the install video of the rocks riser kit helpful for you if you guys did notice too the speedo assembly did change for 2019 and we did leave the grips off it as you noticed there's a lot of different options out there that you guys like to run we have the spider a3 grips available here they are a very popular grip they work very well give you good traction if you guys would like to get those visit us on rockspeedfx.com if you got any questions about the install or anything in the video would like to purchase a kit give us a call 218-326-1794 hit us up on instagram at rockspeedfx also on facebook thank you